Okay, so if you've clicked on this video, you're obviously interested in buying an iPhone 13 mini. And the title of this video literally says, buy it now. Let me explain why. Before we actually get into the video, I do just want to thank every single person who is subscribing to this new channel. And if this is the first time that you've discovered this channel, then I really would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button after watching this video. Right, so back to the iPhone 13 mini. And the first thing I want to talk about is its design. Now, I personally have been using this phone for a while now, and the thing that I love the most is how easy this phone is to use in one hand. You're able to reach all parts of the display, but it's not just that, it's how light the phone is as well. You really do forget it's even in your pocket sometimes. Now the phone I was using before this was an iPhone 13 Pro, and coming from a Pro device like that, which is a lot heavier, you really do forget how much of a convenience it is having a light phone. Now some people who I've spoken to about the iPhone 13 mini have been hesitant to purchase the phone because of it potentially being too small for them. If you're somebody who's watching this video now and you're worried about the same kind of thing, I can tell you that that is something that you should not worry about at all. You really do adjust to the size of the display quite quick. And it's strange because I've used a Pro Max in the past and that didn't feel that big at all but I've recently held the same phone and it now feels like an iPad. And I'm not just saying this, but with the iPhone 13 mini, at this point I genuinely feel like I could use an iPhone even smaller than that. But like I said, it genuinely is because it doesn't take very long for you to adjust to a different screen size. The next thing I want to talk about in this review is the camera. And for me, when I was switching from the 13 Pro, the camera was one of the main things that I was worried about. Now obviously we all know that the iPhone 13 Pro has the better camera system out of the two phones. But it really does all depend on what you use your camera for. The things you're losing by choosing the 13 mini as opposed to the 13 Pro are macro mode, the telephoto lens, ProRes video recording, and Pro Raw. Now if you have no clue what I'm on about, or these are features that you've never heard of and would never use, then the 13 mini will be fine for you. Me personally, I think all these features are really cool and they combine together to make an excellent camera system for the 13 Pro but they are all features that I just didn't use. And because of all of that, switching to the iPhone 13 mini for me wasn't an issue at all. On the screen now you can see some sample footage from the iPhone 13 mini's camera, and as you can see it is still very good quality. For the price you are still getting an amazing camera system in this iPhone. However, if you are someone who is really big into photography, you rely on your iPhone and you take a lot of photos and a lot of videos, then you are probably better off going for the 13 Pro. Now I've said this before in previous videos, I do genuinely believe that the camera system in the 13 Pro is the best camera system in any smartphone today. Now don't get me wrong, I know that this comes down to personal preference, but for me, the iPhone is the best. Bearing in mind, that is taking into consideration both video recording and photo quality. Anyway, back to the iPhone 13 mini, and the next thing that I was slightly worried about was the screen. Now I say worried because the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 both lack ProMotion. ProMotion is a feature that Apple released in their iPhones last year for the first time, and it allows the display to refresh up to 120 hertz, and that was up from 60 hertz on previous iPhones. Now some people genuinely see a massive difference between 60 hertz and 120. If you're one of those people, then you need to go for the 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max because you will notice a difference. I'm lucky, I don't see the difference that much, so the 13 mini and the 13 are fine for me to use. Apple do make the smoothest 60 hertz screens that I've seen, and so as I've been using this phone, I haven't actually missed ProMotion as much as I thought I would. If you're someone on the fence about this and you're not entirely sure, then my recommendation would be to go into an Apple store and try these phones out side by side. If you notice a difference and you feel like you need 120 hertz, then the 13 mini might not be for you. But if you're like me and you don't really see that much of a difference, this phone is fine. Because I don't see that much of a difference between the two displays, I have made the decision that the ease of use, being able to use the iPhone 13 mini in one hand is more of a convenience for me than having 120 hertz. If that's the case for you, then this 13 mini is the perfect phone. As for the way the display actually looks and the color accuracy and things like that, this is an iPhone. 
so it's great. Okay, so another big concern for people when looking at buying any mini iPhone, whether it was the 12 mini or the 13 mini, is battery life. And that's mainly because when the iPhone 12 mini was released, the battery life on that phone wasn't great at all. Apple have done some great work this year, and the 13 mini, I can say, the battery life is a lot better. With regular use, I can get through an entire day. That's something that I could not do with the 12 mini. Now, don't get me wrong, with heavy use, you probably won't get through an entire day with the 13 mini, but the benefit here is, because the 13 mini has a small battery inside it, when you do charge it, it doesn't actually take that long to charge back up. So as long as you've got a charger to hand on the days when you are using the phone more, you'll be fine. All right, so there's not really much else to say with this iPhone. It really is just an all around great phone. If you're watching this video now and you're someone looking for a new iPhone, you're not bothered about having the latest and greatest from Apple. You just wanna be part of that ecosystem and you want a phone that's easy to use and isn't inconvenient and large and just getting in the way. Then the iPhone 13 mini is the phone to go for. If we look at price, this phone is a lot cheaper than the Pro, so if you're someone who doesn't wanna be spending too much money, then again, this is a great option. And the reason why I said at the start of this video, um, buy it now, it mainly comes down to the fact that the rumors as they are right now, are saying that in September, at Apple's next event, Apple are planning on ditching the Mini lineup completely. If that genuinely does happen, then it won't be long after that until all the 13 Minis are sold out, and then you will not be able to get your hands on a Mini iPhone brand new. Now, I'm hoping this isn't the case. Me, personally, I think that Apple should keep this option in their lineup. They should give users the choice to be able to use an iPhone of this size, but if they end up getting rid of it completely, then this will be the last mini that you will be able to try. I'm gonna end this video by saying, I genuinely think the iPhone 13 mini is the best iPhone Apple have ever made. And the reason for that isn't because it has the best specs or the latest features, but it's the fact that it has 90% of Apple's top features crammed into a phone that is really small and me personally i just think that's uh, impressive this review hasn't been as long as it normally would have been but that's mainly down to the fact that if you go to my channel now i have posted quite a few videos based around the iphone 13 mini so if you want any more information or you want to see comparisons with other iphones then head to the channel and check out those videos there okay so let me know what you guys think about this phone down in the comments let me know if you're going to purchase one if you're watching up to now and you haven't subscribed, then please, again, I would really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.